Now let's review uh, the charging and rating requirements that we have earlier discussed it with specific focus on the internet protocol television and the uh, voice over IP services. So we'll start off with uh, an introduction to how con Converse services are uh, provisioned on uh, NGN and then we'd look at the implementation and we'd also quickly summarize various business models. NGN basically is the room for providing the opportunity to converge various services which would otherwise exist on their own legacy systems. Since it is uh, the technology evolution uh, that takes place in due course of time, therefore the business aspects and the regulatory environment of a certain country or a certain region is also influenced by the development of technology. For instance, we know that the public switched uh, telephone networks and the uh, land mobile networks uh, had always existed. But with voice over IP in NGN architecture, these two have actually converged. Likewise, the broadcast um, uh, television service as in terrestrial service and the digital video broadcast is now being provisioned through IP television. While these technologies very much exist, uh, the internet native World Wide Web has transformed into complete suite of services like uh, IoT and Web of T, uh, Web of Things services. So whatever these technologies are, if these are to be provisioned on NGN, so certain adaptation is required either in the business or the regulative environment or the technology itself to adapt to certain customer base. The implementation of whatever service uh, on NGN is governed by a certain model. This model is uh, for the developers to understand how a certain technology is adapted to the NGN environment. So it's a basically three layer model. Vertically speaking, we have the services and applications at the top layer. Uh, you can think about it as the application layer of the TCP IP. Uh, then we have the production, uh, the middle layer where actually the content is uh, produced and the uh, R&D layer, the bottom layer, which is the uh, uh, lowest layer involving uh, the study of a certain technology. So it means if a certain service has to be offered in NGN environment, it has to go through basic uh, research and development process. It has to be produced in a certain way and then it has to be provided on certain user interfaces. The provisioning of uh, NGN services, particular focus on voice over IP and IP television, is uh, through certain entities, very obvious. Uh, we have the end user equipment, we've got the network infrastructure, uh, we've got the platform on which the services are going to run, and then we have the content itself. Um, the delivery or the uh, packaging of content is again a different subject altogether. Let's quickly look at certain variants of uh, um, voice over IP because when we think about voice over IP, uh, we immediately start thinking about uh, WhatsApp or uh, Skype or uh, Tango, FaceTime, etc. But in, in the context of NGN, there is a certain uh, taxonom taxonomical classification. Uh, at the moment, we are just considering voice over IP, but specifically, it is uh, voice over IP and IP television, either as such or with QS support. Uh, it could be provisioned as voice over IP services with complete QS uh, bundle along with best effort internet or it could be voice over IP service along with broadband access to internet as uh, basically a resale product of service provider. It means the service provider is giving it as, as an additional service in addition to broadband. Um, sometimes it is also possible to uh, configure or uh, um, offer uh, the best effort voice service uh, where there's no 
interaction between the network provider and the uh, service provider. Uh, the example is um, WhatsApp, Viber, and Skype. So from the uh, from the network provider perspective, these are known as OTT, that is uh, over the top services. So uh, the network, as such, does not uh, guarantee any quality of service. Uh, then in certain mobile environments, we need uh, mobile uh, VoIP service. You may wonder, essentially it is VoIP. Indeed, it is VoIP, but uh, there are certain entities in NGN which specifically handle mobility. So those services need to be invoked, um, specifically with regards to roaming. Uh, so this was a quick uh, overview of the uh, offerings that could be made in voice over IP. Similar to that, we could have um, a certain range of services in IP television. For instance, we can have a full-fledged architecture for IP TV where the network provider and the content provider are the same. In this case, the requirements of ensuring quality of service become end-to-end, -end, starting from the admission control, to providing priority uh, based service to the NGN traffic involving multimedia, traffic shaping for competing resources, and uh, on the receiver end to ensure that a smooth uh, playout uh, takes place. A uh, buffering requirement is also at the end of the network and service provider. Uh, then we have uh, uh, IPTV service provider as such. It provides uh, uh, IPTV streams to NGN providers. Uh, usually these are known as um, podcasts. Uh, then we have the best effort uh, internet television. Uh, so best effort internet television could be um, web page embedded uh, uh, videos uh, where the money to the um, uh, service provider and the network provider uh, is coming through uh, uh, clicks as in uh, AdSense. So this is how we can think about uh, how the charging and rating uh, landscape uh, could be seen with regards to um, voice and IP television.